Welcome back everyone. You may be trying to figure out how you can actually remove or just, you know, disable background app refresh for certain applications out there on your Android phone. To do this, it's fairly easy, but it is a little bit of a process. The first thing I'd recommend doing is try understanding that there's no way to actually limit the specific applications natively like on iOS, but we are able to go ahead and disable things like notifications, force stop the applications, and just clear permissions of those apps that will limit the capability of those apps in the background. So first of all, with notifications, what I would recommend doing is going through and finding your notifications panel on your phone and just disabling all the notifications that you don't want from these apps. So do keep in mind that if you remove them from apps you will, you want like messages, for example, I wouldn't recommend turning it off for messages, maps, Snapchat if you use it, different things like that. But for other apps like Fruit Ninja or Call of Duty, like if you don't ever use those apps, then you probably don't need to be notified of it. So that's number one. Another thing I'd recommend doing is going back to your home panel and going under your application side of your specific panel. So here you can click on apps and you'll come to this page. Now when you're here, what you can do is realistically, there's so much information and just background stuff that you can disable from these apps and they don't even need access to half this stuff to be honest. So for example, if you use Call of Duty again, we've already disabled notifications. So you can see notifications are blocked. Now under permissions, if we click here, we can actually limit the things that this app will basically be able to have in the background. Now, if you're using this app all the time or if you need certain permissions, well, then that's pretty much the main thing. But here, if you see this little thing where it says remove permissions and free up space, if you enable it, it'll basically limit what it can do in the background. It'll still be able to get the job done. But that's another thing you can do, and that's probably what I would recommend doing as well if you have this little toggle. Let's go and scroll back once more and you can see we have things like app timer we have this toggle again but also if you go ahead and scroll down right down here you'll see this little force top option what i would recommend doing is for applications that you're not necessarily utilizing all the time you can force stop them like this and this application will no longer be able to be running in the background as of right now now if you open this app back up again you will have to come back to your settings to force stop it but that is pretty much the mother of all to pretty much do this and to limit the background refresh for the most part so that is pretty much how to do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.